I'm so sick of farewells and RIPs in the trenches yelling gang gang mob ties what I bleed. Hey man, listen. I've been on a little, I'm not gonna lie, I've been on a little Polo G run for the past like week or two. I don't know, it just popped in my head like damn, Polo was really the hottest, like one of the hottest, you know, like at least top three in terms of popularity back in I want to say 2020, 2021, you know, like, you know, 2019 it started, but bro, you had Polo G, the baby, Roddy Rich, Lil Baby, like that whole shit, that was like the Mount Rushmore that was really blowing the fuck, of course, you know, Pop Smoke, rest in peace, unfortunate what happened to him, and you know, Favi, but I feel like th those four was really killing shit, and you could argue, you know, Polo G was right up there it could be number one you could swap it all out with roddy the baby but i mean i the, the crazy thing is i still fuck with polo g like i know a lot, i know his popularity has gone way down and you know the casual fan has left you know when rocks uh, i was gonna say rock star when rap star what's the shit with the guitar i be forgetting man that was a huge hit bro uh hall of fame shit that dropped in june of 2021 i gotta fact check myself yeah 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 june where is it? Yeah, June 2021. And then the Deluxe, which I thought was great. Like, I just listened to it again. Bro, there's so many good songs on there. Yo, Parting Ways is super fire, bro. Young and Dumb, super hard. Like, the shit with Lil Baby, Don't Play. I thought Bad Man, like the Smooth Criminal track was a little gimmicky, but it was cool for what it was. Uh, even the shit with Money Back. Damn, Money Back Yo was another person that was, you know, up there and shit yeah fortnite was a cool song even the show nle chopper was cool but yeah the whole project in my opinion was pretty solid like hall of fame but polo g himself said that during the process of making that project he kind of was getting just like drenched in the fucking comments and all the the just the critics and everybody just saying how you just you know piano g he even made a song called piano g and he was just falling into that trap of like yo all your shit sounds the same it's just all piano ass beats or whatever um so he kind of made hall of fame with that in mind where like he's trying to not do what all the critics are saying he kind of let it get to him and he said i forgot i think it was a ddg interview where he said that he's not really not that he's not proud of his work but he really let that shit get to him you know so he felt like it wasn't his best work because it just wasn't, he kind of stepped out of his lane a little bit. Um, but I, I think the project was solid. The project, The Goat, there's like three songs where the engineer, bro, the mixing is terrible on some of those songs, bro. I don't know, the vocals are weirdly pitched. Uh, Lil Baby's verse sounded like he sent that shit through an Xbox mic. It was not good. But, but the song itself had great potential. Uh, Be Something. And there's some songs that are just okay on The Goat, but overall... That was a very solid project, bro. The first track, dun, 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 um, damn, I'm blanking now. I was doing the drugs just to get me through the night. I don't, whatever. That shit still to this day gives me goosebumps because that shit just motivates the shit out of me. That shit, Die a Legend, classic project. So I'm like, damn, man, he got some solid, his discography's good, you know? And it's just like, it's crazy how quick fans are fans. You know, everybody, they're just so fickle, bro. You know, it's always like, what's next? What's the next hottest thing? And maybe the style just got played out. People were tired of it. I don't know. I guess the new wave, the new SoundCloud wave, I guess, kind of took over and just bled over. And all that street rap, you feel me? That was super popping. You know, 2020, 2021, like, you know, the drill shit. That shit just started dying down. Like, that was really what was the most popular shit. Pop Smoke put it over here, Favi, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you remember that era, it was, it was just mostly like drill shit, you feel me? A lot of street rap, Lil Durk was on another level, you know, just branching out to a whole nother stratosphere, and that whole lane was really taking off, bro, like, the money bag yo's, the shit, I don't know, the Memphis was going crazy, you know, that whole street lane was super popping, and then I guess, like, that whole SoundCloud wave just started taking over. The Sofagos, the the Yeats, Ken Carson's, and, like, the Rage Beats kind of just took over. 
You feel me? It was like the plug and B rage beats. And then that started bleeding into the mainstream. And I guess Polo G just kind of on the, you know what I'm saying? On the, just washed on shore. Like it's just, just to the wayside, you know? But, uh, you know, I've always kind of stood around. I've always, I've always been interested in like interviews. I'm still like tapped into whatever Polo's up to. Like if it's like a vlog or an interview. I mean, he has said in a recent interview where he's like getting a haircut where he took like a year off, you know? He was just going through a lot of personal shit, reflected on a lot of things. He even said that The Goat is his favorite project. But yeah, like, you know, dealing with, you know, he got a son and shit, taking care of him, trying to be a better man, better father, you know, shit like that. He was, he didn't really go on tour. He hasn't gone on tour himself since I think, I don't know, I don't think he could because the pandemic happened. He blew up like 2019 so he was doing shows but i don't think he ever did his own solo headlining tour if i'm not mistaken but uh he would always do like rolling loud you know little one-off shows but i don't think he's ever really toured so i made this video mainly because his next album hood poet the singles so far has been cool hasn't really like rocked my socks or anything but it's what you expect for polo g and i kind of miss that style you know I've, when you you kind of miss what you don't have, you feel me? When something's gone for a while and then you start to, you tend to miss it. So, you know, when you get it back, it's like you appreciate it more. Kind of like John Cena or some shit. <laughs> you know, whenever he pulls up, it's like, you know what? I used to hate on your ass, but you know, we miss you, dog. We appreciate you, you feel me? So like the latest songs have been cool. The, the, the snippet, he's supposed to be dropping a music video tonight, actually. Uh, you know, to really start getting the ball rolling. I think it's called Angels in the Sky, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Don't quote me, but it was like a snippet he posted like a couple years ago or some shit, and the fans really been fiending for this shit. So I think it's that song, but either way, it Apple Music, Spotify, it says August 2nd, 2024. We'll see. Even Polo had left a comment. Somebody was, like commented under his post, like, yo, when's it dropping? He said Apple Music says August 2nd, so I don't know. We'll see. Some shit like that. He don't even probably know. Because he's been going, th he's been fighting some cases. I feel like he got arrested like last year where his crib got raided or some shit like that. He got arrested, what, two months ago? They found a gun in the hotel or <laughs> some shit like that. Like they, they, when they were cleaning the room. I don't know what happened with that. I think his lawyer said that that wasn't his. You already know the vibes. But I mean... I'd, I'd like to see a Polo G tour. I'd be down. I'd go. And he at first, he was kind of a bad performer. Like all these fucking street rappers, to be honest. They all fucking suck. But he's been getting better. If you watch his Rolling Loud performance from Miami 2023, he did a great job. And he, you know, he he stayed showing love to Juice World, which I love to see. You know, played, a, played Armed and Dangerous. That was fire. Flex with Juice World, but um, yeah, he had he had that energy, yeah, yeah. So, but uh, I'm curious to see how this project is gonna, you know, see what it does, man. Numbers wise, is is it gonna bring him back? Is the casual fan gonna pull, you know, come back, or is it just strictly just the Polo G fans? You feel me? Like, is this just for the fan? I don't know. Is he aiming for hits? Like, what's the what's it gonna sound like? I really don't know, but I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. Clearly, I'm making a fucking video. But uh, yeah, man, shout out Paul G, man. I've been I've been watching his interviews, and he seems like he's in a good space right now, mentally and shit. The DDG vlog that he did recently was pretty funny when they were going through looking at all his cars and shit. Yeah, man, Hood Poet. I think it's gonna have like 18 songs on it, so that's pretty dope. Um, we'll see what the features is him for, and not that I care too much. I just wanna. It's gonna be lit, regardless. I'm gonna fuck with it. So let me know in the comments if you're even excited. Do you even give a fuck? Do you still listen to Polo G? Let me know, fam. I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.